So the most valuable cloud engineers or developers in many established organizations don't necessarily have loads of certifications. Instead, they bring extensive experience in IT infrastructure and have hands-on experience with cloud and a habit of self-taught learning. I think there are two sides to cloud certifications and I do want to cover both. I'll start with probably the pros, you know, cloud certifications or certifications in general in IT. I feel like this has been a long going debate and just like everything, there are, you know, upsides, but there are also downsides. So uh, I feel like one of the great benefits of having certifications as your path is they provide you a structured learning path to understand a particular cloud provider or technology. So what I mean by that is, so let's take an example of AWS Certified Developer Associate. So that certification, if you take that, it will kind of show you a structured path on all the tooling that's available in AWS for developers. So, you know, code build, code pipeline, uh, version control, so all those things that a developer needs, how those are available in AWS and how you might use them. As my point being, you know, get a structured learning path to learn these skills. Similarly with DevOps engineer certificate, both in Azure or AWS, is they give you learning path to learn the tools that are needed by a DevOps engineer, which are provided by AWS or Azure. So, you know, you learn about Azure DevOps, you know, how you can have CI CD pipelines, how you can have version control in Azure DevOps. Similarly, there are services in AWS that you can learn through this certification. So for a structured learning path, I think certifications are great, right? There's also one very important point Cloud-based certification has been a very good way for people to transform their careers, right? So especially if you compare it to, you know, traditional degrees, they're a lot more affordable. And just like me, there are a thousand others who didn't have, you know, computer science degrees, but were able to pivot into cloud or were able to start their careers in cloud through these certifications. And now I want to come to cons, one of it being theoretical knowledge. So I've seen a lot of exam dumps being uh, shared on the internet, whether it be through GitHub or, you know, Reddit. And that just defies the entire purpose of you learning a new cloud provider or a new skill, right? Because then you're just doing it for the sake of passing the exam and it does it just doesn't hold any real value and you might not be even able to interview or answer questions during an interview so that's why i feel like a lot of the cloud certifications right now are based on theoretical knowledge and can be cracked you know by doing or going through exam dumps or doing practice exams right which again i said defies the purpose of learning a new skill because you don't know the underlying fundamentals that are necessary to enter cloud. The other kind of con can be seen that you might not have prior experience and you can pass cloud certifications with no experience working in cloud. Even though there are certifications that would say, you know, you need six months hands-on experience, which I think you should have and you should refer to that statement mentioned on all of these certifications because having no experience sometimes creates dissatisfaction from the hiring teams due to lack of, you know, in the field experience or hands-on experience working with cloud. However, if you're able to justify that through, you know, right projects, making sure you have built two or three solid projects in cloud, utilizing different services, you're able to answer questions around uh, why you chose those services, what were some decisions you had to make when picking those services and designing the architecture for your projects, I think that con can be, you know, avoided. So I would say certifications are good for structured learning paths. Even if you don't set the certification exam, but just go through the learning path, it's awesome because, you know, you'll get a proper structure on which service to start with first and what are some fundamentals you need. Cons being, you know, 
people have been cracking certifications without really knowing the underlying fundamentals and just going through exam dumps or practice questions and passing those certifications, I think that defies the purpose of you upskilling to get into cloud. So yeah, that was my take on either, you know, certifications in IT or cloud certifications are worth it or not.